If there's one thing we love more than a good old-fashioned RPG, it's a good old-fashioned RPG with a twist. And if you're thinking, but Blast, what could be more twisty than a turn-based battle system and a sprawling fantasy world? Well, my friends, let me introduce you to the Wild Arms series. It's an RPG, yes, but it's also a love letter to the Wild West, a symphony of spaghetti western charm and Final Fantasy-like magic. And that's exactly what we'll be diving into today, as we meander down the dusty trails of Philgea, reminiscing about the best things about each Wild Arms game. So grab your 10-gallon hat, load up your arms, and let's saddle up for a ride into the pixelated sunset. And remember, this isn't just about nostalgia, it's about celebrating a series that dared to be different. So, let's giddy up and dive in, shall we? Here we are, the game that started it all, the original Wild Arms. It's like a brilliant spaghetti western, but with a little bit of magic thrown in for good measure. Now, what sets Wild Arms apart, you ask? First up, it's the unique blend of traditional RPG elements with a Wild West setting. It's like Clint Eastwood had a love child with Final Fantasy, and the result is magnificent. The turn-based combat system coupled with the use of arms, ancient relic machine, by the way, weapons with special abilities, adds a distinctive twist to the genre. Then there's the puzzle-solving aspect in dungeons that requires switching between characters to use their specific abilities. And how could we forget the absolutely incredible soundtrack? Michiko Naruk's compositions will forever be seared into your brain. It's a kind of grandeur that perfectly encapsulates the feel of a vast, untamed frontier. Lastly, the 3D battle scenes were a novelty for their time, proving Wild Arms was as innovative as it was captivating. If you wish to play an upgraded version of Wild Arms, you can try Alter Code F, which is an enhanced remake made for the PS2. On to Wild Arms 2 and we've got ourselves a sequel that takes everything great about the original and cranks it up a notch. Let's start with the narrative. It's a thought-provoking tale that looks at the lines between heroes, villains, and the nuances therein. Intriguing, isn't it? And then there's the graphics, a leap forward from the first game, while still retaining that charming wild arms feel. Now, don't even get me started on the character-specific abilities. They've been expanded, allowing for even more engaging puzzle-solving and exploration. And how about the battle system? It's been refined, providing a more strategic depth to the games that followed it. But it's not all just improvements. There are also fresh additions, like the split-screen storytelling technique for simultaneous events. It's like watching two episodes of your favorite show at the same time, but you can keep up because you're just that good. And the music, once again provided by the wonderful Michiko Naruk, just takes the entire experience to a whole new level. Wild Arms 2, ladies and gentlemen, a sequel that more than lives up to its predecessor. Moving on to Wild Arms 3, and straight away it's clear we're in for a treat. The cel-shaded graphics in this installment are just stunning. They've got that iconic blend of anime meets Wild West that's as delicious as a steak from your favorite grill. And the game's world? It's massive, sprawling, full of secrets, and just begging to be explored. It's a post-apocalyptic world that's distinctly Wild Arms, and it's absolutely brilliant. Now, one of the standout features here is the Drifter system. It's a random battle system that lets you see encounters before they happen, adding an extra layer of strategy to your playthrough. The addition of the Migrant system also allows for real-time dodging of these encounters. It's like a game of cat and mouse, but you're the mouse with a jetpack. And then there's the narrative, a compelling tale that perfectly blends character development with overarching plot. And I can't sign off without mentioning the game's soundtrack. It's another Michi Konarook masterpiece. Seriously, this woman can do no wrong. Let's take a gander at Wild Arms for now. It's a bit of a departure from the previous games, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This game introduces us to the new Hex Battle system which swaps out the traditional combat for a more dynamic, position-based system. It's like a game of chess, but with guns and magic. Then there's the platforming elements, a new addition that adds an extra challenge to dungeon exploration. It's almost as if Mario decided to take a vacation in a Western RPG, but that's quite of a stretch. The story is more character-focused, honing in on the protagonist Jude and his personal journey. It's an emotional roller coaster that can really tug at the heartstrings. The graphics, too, have taken a leap forward with a more polished, modern look that still retains the Wild Arms charm. 
in the music. I mean, come on. It's Wild Arms, of course. Michiko Naruk shares the composition duty with Masato Kuda this time, and the result is a soundtrack that's both familiar and fresh. So, while Wild Arms 4 may be a departure, it's a journey well worth taking. Next on our list, we have Wild Arms 5. This one takes the classic elements we've grown to love and delivers them with a fresh twist. Firstly, the hex battle system is back, but it's more refined, even more strategic, and as addictive as ever. It's like a Wild West tactical showdown, and it's brilliant. Then there's the presentation. Wild Arms 5 is a visual treat, with its stylish cel-shaded graphics and intricate character designs. And speaking of characters, the game has a large cast of fascinating individuals, each with their own interesting storylines. It's like a Wild West soap opera, but with fewer cows and more magic. The game also pays homage to the series as a whole, with a myriad of Easter eggs and returning characters that fans will absolutely adore. It's like a love letter to the Wild Arms franchise. And then there's the soundtrack. Michiko Naroki is back at it again, delivering another score that will make your heart soar and your toes tap. In short, Wild Arms 5 is a celebration of everything that makes the series great. Lastly, we have Wild Arms XF. Now, this one is a bit different. It's as if the Wild Arms series decided to flirt with the likes of Final Fantasy Tactics, and the result is splendid, especially if you can appreciate a return to the retro design. The game features a class-based system that breathes fresh life into the combat. Each character can switch between different classes, each possessing its unique abilities and skills. It's like a playground for strategy buffs. The story is also a highlight, offering a politically charged narrative that's as engaging as it is thought-provoking. In the game's world, it's quintessential wild arms, filled with intriguing locales and a beautiful, desolate charm. Then there's the music. Once again, Michiko Naruk delivers a soundtrack that rivals any in the series. It's a fitting accompaniment to a game that, while different, captures the spirit of wild arms. And there you have it, the rough and tumble charm of the wild arms series in all its glory. From its humble beginnings in the original Wild Arms to the tactical twist of Wild Arms XF, we've ridden through the wild frontier of Philgea, battled countless foes, and soaked up the heartwarming tunes of Michi Konarok. It's been a journey filled with magic, mystery, and a fair share of gunslinging action. Whether you're an old hand at these games or you're just now dusting off your arms, I hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic saunter down memory lane as much as I have. So as we ride off into the pixelated sunset, remember, Every game tells a story, but it's the Wild Arms series that has shown us how to weave a tale with a pair of cowboy boots, a magic gun, and a heart full of adventure. Until next time, keep your spurs sharp, your arms loaded, and always remember, the Wild West might be a harsh and unforgiving place, but in the world of Wild Arms, there's always an adventure waiting just over the next horizon. Here's to wishing for its return.